The population of Uganda has risen at a skyrocketing speed over the last few years. It is an undisputable fact that all the 35 million people who live here share one common demand, food. Over 90% of cooking in Uganda is through burning of wood or charcoal in open fires, a situation that has led Uganda to lose about 300,000 hectares of her forest cover in the last 15 years. In Africa, Uganda in particular, there is limited access to hydroelectricity uh, supply or even gas supplies. So wood as such is the source of energy in, in probably over 90% of the homes. So the cutting of trees for charcoal is inevitable at the moment. When you look at it on the global side of it, in Africa and other countries, we are going to be using wood for cooking for many years to come. The only thing that we need to do is to reduce the amount of wood that are actually being used. So, we must realize that the cutting of trees is going to take place. But there is a need to minimize the cutting of trees. Dr. Moses Musazi of Makere University has worked together with Nicholas Kasakende, an innovator with technology for tomorrow, to develop a cutting-edge innovation, the hybrid cook stove. The stove is uniquely fitted with a system that enables it to simultaneously heat and store water in the attached flask during the progress of normal cooking. This means that preheated water is always available for successive cooking, bringing about a 70% saving on total energy as compared to other conventional stoves. I am calling out to you. We can together, you and I. Duty call. Enjoy kuna mshoto na amazi ya kufumba amazi ya kufumba wadi ngine ya kunywa wada twala ko vude ya vude so sawa zino musorokere kumacha simula tape rwana amazi reda ide utaula chai uh, this new technology we are using nowadays it's really good because we are saving Last time we used not to save more than we are doing now because we used to consume like a four trucks of firewood but as per now we can use two and a half. I am privileged to be one of those who, who are using the hybrid cooking stove. Ever since I started using this hybrid stove at home, we realized that we reduced the quantity of charcoal that was being used. First of all, it conserves heat and little amounts of charcoal can be used to prepare meals and at the same time it boils water. So you get a constant supply of hot water. Besides the hybrid cook stove's ability to save huge tons of wood and charcoal used daily in cooking, it does not have any smoke leakages and burns fuel up to ash form, hence creating an emission-free cooking environment. With all these complements, the hybrid cook stove's potential to positively impact on the global environment is limitless. <laughs> Purichitone chili no mugaso kusiva nangi Twena gana kusi ya ipechivu mbaje ya tuwa Abantu nevitone vindi Fena fena tulichidana Aimambe Bantu mwekamba gambire rehanga katu heji siyona Abantu nevitone viona tupingana Hiyo, hiyo, hiyo Ebi kokenya 
Jane Shaka Shemere Kubirinda. When I'm a bit at the same, I'm a bit at the same. When I'm a bit at the same, I'm a bit at the same. 